old savannah and this is the old pink house here in savannah and this is one of the famous buildings i'm going to show you what's right here the little horses drive by that's so cute um, this is one of the oldest buildings that survived the great fires in the 1800s i think it was the 1800s um, but our tour guide told us to definitely eat lunch or dinner here if you do, make sure you have two or three days reservations. Uh, we lucked out and popped in and it was 15 minute wait. So we are going to be eating lunch here and I'm going to show you uh, the delicious food. Apparently this is very, very famous and it's on a lovely square. I'm going to show you here. Savannah, the city is built around many, many, many squares. And the, the buildings are tightly packed in the city and then they have lots of gorgeous open green areas, kind of like Paris, but on a very smaller scale of, and this is one of the green areas here in the square. So we will be venturing in as soon as our table is ready. The Pink House is located in John Wesley Square here in Savannah, Georgia, and it's under the old live oak trees, this little mini park. Which is quite lovely. And this is the typical square in Savannah. Each square has some kind of a fountain or a statue. Um, this is of a priest that was settling, settled in this area. And I believe this is the John Wesley that started the Methodist religion here. is the park that's in front of the Pink House restaurant. And again, the Pink House restaurant is the oldest surviving building. It's the only building that survived in this quarter the, the fires of, I believe it was the 1800s. This is inside the square and there is the Pink House. I love the color of the outside of the pink house. This is the garlic cheese straws they served. We've eaten some of them, of course. Instead of a bread. And this is inside the rooms in the house. I really love the very light yellow ceiling. Beautiful light blue. And we're in the room right off the dining room. Here. the chandelier. Yes. Venetian crystal shades Oh, it's Venetian crystal? Yes. Are the paintings? What are these paintings? I, I'm going to tell you who everyone is. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the most part of me. Are they original to the house or no? No, ma'am. They're just old paintings. Yes, they just are really more for ambiance. The one over the fireplace is actually James Overstore. Oh. The of oh, that's an interesting. Yeah. There, we're going to oh, yeah. stand. Yeah. Right there, the founder of Savannah. Is that a dated painting or is it a more modern? Dated. Oh, nice. So it's an original. Wow. There he is, the founder of Savannah. Oh, we got that one out there. That's James Havisham. This was his house. And then the house is 16,000 square feet, so you can walk around and just catch some pictures of Mary Havisham. Oh. Yeah. 16,000 square feet. Wow. That's a big house. Yeah. All right, this is our dinner. We just were served. Actually, our lunch. This is the shrimp and oysters. This is absolutely delicious with fennel and some other seasoning underneath. Slaw. Fennel seasoning slaw. That is the swordfish sandwich, which looks absolutely delicious. With was that sliced squash and pesto salad? Squash, squash, squash pesto salad. And hers is the buffalo shrimp 
tacos, which look massively incredible too. And we'll do a tag review after we finished eating our dinner. That looks amazing. I thought it'd be like two little tacos in a rack. That's beautiful. Now, this is so much better than wet Willie's crappy nachos out on the side. <laughs> okay, ladies, the swordfish sandwich looks delicious. Mm. I'm almost jealous I didn't get that. Oh, but God, of course, no, mine looks incredible too. Stuff. I haven't had oysters in a long time, so this looks amazing. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we, got, we can't touch it yet. We got to get mind, a picture. Do you mind taking a picture of like, us with our food? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you. You're supposed to go 10. This is one of the little side rooms, and this is adorable. This is another one of the rooms. And the, the house wasn't built, the fire was in 1795, that's what I found out. And so this was one of the other houses, there was two houses, I think the pirate's house and this house that survived. This is the main dining room upstairs. This is beautiful. And they say to make a reservation if you want to come one to two days, at le sometimes at least two days in advance. We just lucked out by sliding in here for lunch. This is beautiful. And our food was absolutely delicious. We loved everything. The coleslaw had a different taste to it from that. It was a fennel coleslaw, tangy. It was amazing. We just, everything we loved, loved, loved. The batter on that fried stuff, I don't usually get fried food, but it was very, very, very light. This fire, I love the colors, gorgeous. And in one of the rooms, the waiter said that it, it's actually called Savannah Black. And it was, it's a patented color and it is designed just by Sher for Sherwin Williams. And they said that this is the only place that you can buy it here in Savannah. And it was a plum black, actually a chocolatey brown, but plum, with a little hint of plum to it, it was beautiful. Again, this is inside the pink house. And the pink bricks actually come on the outside, that pink color actually comes from the red bricks seeping through the plaster or, or cement on the outside. And that's how it got the nickname pink house because of the bricks mixing with the plaster kind of seeped through the color of the red bricks seeped through the outside, outer coating. This is the Savannah Black color right here. It's a beautiful plum brown.
this is the pink house on the outside at the very corner. And then directly across the street from the pink house, these are downspouts. And these are pretty famous downspouts that protect the house and bring the bad spirits out of the house. And these are very old antique brass downspouts. And you can see on this building, in particular, it's pretty famous.